Hi, I'm Chris Martin. And uh, a couple years ago, I was in a meeting and I had an idea for a guitar and I threw the idea out and another one of my colleagues said, hey, that's a good idea, but we can do this to it. And then somebody else said, yeah, but we can do that to it. And by the time we went around the room, the guitar that I had pictured in my mind ceased to exist and it became something else. And so I, I got a little frustrated and I said to my colleagues, I think I need to have a guitar that has more of my imprint on it than anything else. And that's how the CEO series was formed. So this is the sixth one in a, in a run of thoughts I had about what else could the Martin Guitar Company do to honor, in this case, a very iconic um, guitar design from one of our competitors. It's remarkably similar, as you, as you may discern. Uh, we decided to keep the bridge positioned the way Martin bridges are. You might picture a guitar with a different name with the bridge upside down, as I would call it. They may say right side up. Um, you know, this is somebody else's sunburst, but I think we did a good job with it. This is more of our slope shoulder than theirs. Um, it does have now the new um, Aura Electronics package and the, and the Aura neck. And then, believe it or not, this is the Martin logo. It's just flattened. It's, it's, it, instead of it being curved, it's the same logo type. We just kind of straighten it out. And again, um, honoring somebody else's logo that has a very, very similar dramatic look on the headstock. And that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. My name is Dick Boak from the Martin Guitar Company, and, and uh, very proud to show you our 1.5 millionth guitar. When we reach a milestone like this, we like to do something special. And so about a year and a half ago, we enlisted the talents of inlay artist Harvey Leach to do the unprecedented inlay for the Da Vinci Unplugged model. As you can see on the pickguard, every piece, every color is a separate piece of inlay. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful job. And the Scrimshaw engraving that's done into uh, Mammoth Ivory was done by uh, master Scrimshaw artist Bob Hergert. Uh, arguably one of the finest Scrimshaw artists alive today. All of the illustrations of uh, Leonardo, including Leonardo himself, are Scrimshawed into the fingerboard inlays and the incredible uh, Mona Lisa replicated by Harvey with just uh, uh, incredible detail and engraving in the face. The back of the guitar is Da Vinci's most famous illustration the Vitruvian Man, beautifully executed. And even the tuning machine buttons uh, have been specially created, uh, hand tooled uh, from Da Vinci Designs, about 25 hours each button. Uh, uh, just beautifully, uh, beautiful art. So this guitar is not for sale. Um, 1.5 million instruments. I'm holding one of our new OMPA-4s. This is uh, uh, the newest addition to the Performing Artist Series guitars. Uh, significant portion of our uh, output these days is acoustic electric. Uh, this system contains the uh, Aura system, the analog Aura system, which is a simplified version of the F1 Aura. And spruce top, solid, Sapili back and sides throughout. Uh, this simply gives a, a, a more affordable option to the Performing Art Artist Series. I believe we have now uh, at least 11 models uh, in this series, with all, almost four out of every, every 10 Martin guitars made being stage ready, studio ready, plug in with state of the art electronics. Lastly, a, a special case for the 1.5 million guitar was fabricated by Tom Doherty of TKL Case Company, and a beautiful, beautiful guitar strap, hand-tooled by Chuck Smith and Greg Atkins, commemorating the 1.5 million guitar.